Okay, a vector question. I really like vector questions, but a lot of students, until they get used to them, don't. So I'm going to talk this through in quite a bit of detail. It's an AA star question. It's always one of the last questions on the paper. We've got to show that PQ equals this. Now, all that's doing, the only reason they're doing that is you know, to give you a little hint of what the answer is so you know whether you're getting it right or not. You should pretty much ignore that and just work out what PQ is on your own. So we're trying to go from P to Q. Now with vector questions we cannot go straight to P and Q. We can only use vectors A and B. We are told, and this makes this a little bit trickier, that P and Q are not midpoints but they're in a ratio of the lines. So this P is 4 to 1 on along this line and this Q is going to be um, a to b, a to a to q is two, and q to b is three. So this whole line is, in a sense, five. So this p is four fifths of the way along that line, or one fifth away from a, and and um, q is going to be two fifths along this line. So how are we going to work that out? So essentially what we need to do is to go from P to A and then from A to Q but to get A to Q I need to know what fraction it is of the whole line AB because I don't have an expression for the whole line AB but this is a pretty standard beginning part of any vectors question if you've got a triangle is to work out the whole line from A to B by going minus A plus B so let's just uh, start that so PQ is going to be equal to um, P A plus A Q. Now P A, as I said, is one fifth of A. So one fifth of A. I'll put a little squiggle there to represent the bold part. And A Q is going to be two fifths of A B. Now let's just work out AB separately. AB is going to be minus A plus B. So PA, back to that, we've got one fifth A plus two fifths of A to B, which is minus A plus B. So we've got one fifth A plus two fifths of minus A. So we're actually taking away two fifths from one fifth to leave us with minus one fifth. And then we've got plus two fifths B. And then we just need to rearrange that to get what we're trying to show. So two fifths A, so two fifths B minus one fifth A. And there we go, there's the answer. I didn't really look at that at all, just worked it all through. And luckily for me, I didn't make any mistakes and I got the answer. Now, that's worth three marks. Um, you would get um, one mark for showing this bit. If you, that's anywhere in your working you will get one mark. You'll get a method mark for getting to this bit, so just putting in the fractions of the lines and then one for tidying it up and getting to the answer. Now, um, show PQR line a straight line, so PQ and R, we're trying to show that lines on a straight line. Now this is not drawn accurately so this may not go into a straight line and it wouldn't matter if it doesn't but that's what we're trying to show. Now if we're trying to show something's a straight line the technical term for that is collinear. They're all on the straight, on the same line. Um, to do that the, the standard technique for that is to work to show that PQ and PR are parallel and because they come from the same point, two lines that are parallel that start at the same point are, co are um, in a straight line or collinear. So we already know PQ, that's already been done for us, all we've got to do is work out PR. So to work out PR we need to come back down here and go all the way along there. Um, we are told R on OB produced is such that OB, OB and BR is in the ratio of 5 to 3. So um, OR, if that's 5 and that's 3, that's uh, going to be three fifths of um, B from there to there is three fifths B, and this is five fifths B. So that's just B plus three B, three fifths B. It's going to be one three fifths B. So 
from P to O, so we want, let's go PR is going to be P to O plus O to R and P to O is 4 out of 5 4 fifths A but it's negative so it's minus 4 fifths A and then we're going to add on B plus this 3 fifths B so that gives us um, and we tend to put the, the positive stuff at the front so we've got uh, 1 and 3 fifths B at minus 4 fifths A that's fairly straightforward now to prove these are parallel we've got to show that one is a multiple of the other so um, if I times if I just change that there let's just rub that out and change it to a top heavy fraction we'll probably be able to see the factor much more clearly or the multiple more clearly so um, 8 fifths B minus 4 fifths A so got minus one fifth a, I've got times that by four to get four fifths four times two is eight so PR equals four times PA therefore PR and PA are parallel and since both PR and PA share a point P they must be collinear or on a straight line ok now a lot of the students find that really tricky, but it's pretty routine. The same ideas are repeated over and again. The more times you practice this, the more times you see these sort of questions, the same routine. So you always with a straight line, we're looking for the parallel. We work out two vectors, trying to find the, 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 the scale factor. Once you've got the scale factor, you prove they're parallel, they share the same point, they must be on a straight line. And that's worth six marks in total.